Hello and welcome to my home. This was a uh, difficult holiday this year due to the fact that uh, my husband unexpectedly passed away this past summer. So um, this is the first Christmas without him. And now that I'm alone in the house, I uh, made some changes to how it's set up, uh, which I will show you a little bit later. But I wanted to record how I decorated for the holidays this year. I was trying to keep my mind and hands busy by changing up a few things and adding a few vintage items to my holiday decor. So I thought I'd share them here with you. As I said, he passed unexpectedly um, from pancreatic cancer in July and he would have been 64 on Christmas Eve. So um, I changed up everything because it was too hard to decorate the same way that we had always done every year since we met when I was 16, way back in 1976. So again, I thought I would document how I did those changes this year. So first I'll start out with the small foyer. And uh, this is a cross stitch I did many, many years ago. And I used to hang it over the fireplace, but I changed up uh, my mantle this year and decided to put this cross stitch here on the foyer. And uh, the other part of our foyer, um, I added a bench to this here. I changed up uh, the dining room and got a new old table that came with two benches and one I put in the bedroom and one in the foyer here. So I thought I would decorate this little area with my uh, vintage bottle brush trees. I just love these. It's hard to find the ones with the red bases that are truly vintage. So I thought I would do a little forest scene with a couple of deer in there. And of course, just like last year, you're going to see a lot of deer in my uh, decor. Besides vintage, um, reindeer is uh, my collectibles of the season. I also have a few Christmas cards. This one's cute. Very vintage. And my daughter made these like snow globes but there's no water in them. That's a car that she found, toy car that looks just like my car. She also at the time found a car that looked like Hubby's car. So yeah, I got these assemblages from her a few years back. She made them for a, like a local craft fair so I had to buy them all up. So that's all I did in our foyer. I added, I found these um, lunch boxes. Two of them at a uh, antique sale this past fall. So that was fun. And daughter actually gave me that large thermos for Christmas this year. Okay, so this is my living room. And uh, I made a few changes here since last year, um, but I'll just concentrate right now on the changes I made in the holiday decor. I think after the holidays, I will do another video of all my um, vintage and antique items that I now have spread around the house that I've taken out of my studio where I used to have them, and now they're um, all over the house. So as you come in, um, of course my favorite item of the room is the fireplace. We built this house in 1987 and uh, definitely wanted a fireplace, a real one. So I just love having this. And I didn't put a fire in it today, instead I have a fire going <laughs> on the uh, on the TV. And I changed out the TV stand that we used to have. 
um, with this vintage sewing machine stand. So I think it works really, really well in this corner. Of course, a few other reindeer items. Uh, this is a vintage tree stand. I have two of them. I'll show you another one a little bit later. But I just put some greenery in, fake greenery. This picnic basket, the metal picnic basket, I found at the same antique fair this uh, fall. Daughter and her husband took me there. It was just after my birthday, so we had a wonderful day uh, out antiquing. And it's very snowy outside. Okay, um, around the fireplace. I have some vintage candle molds, and that's a milk stool, three-legged milk stool. The antique snowshoes always get decorated every year. And the stocking, I saw online a lot of people decorating this year with a nice chunky stocking, knitted stocking, so I, um, I made up the pattern myself. I've made almost 50, knitted up almost 50 socks myself over the last few years. So it was easy for me just to uh, get some nice chunky wool and uh, make my own design. And I knit this up in just a couple of hours. So that was lots of fun. And then just added some greenery and old bells to that. And last year, hubby found me this tin and it was perfect he knew of course that i love reindeer and so i added these real antlers to it and a bell and i think it makes a perfect little display on the fireplace too and this old sleigh i got many years ago and i love decorating it up having it out all winter, but for the holidays, I always add some greenery, ribbon, and bells to it. And those are vintage Nordic skates that hang from it as well. Those wooden skates, those are real wooden skates. And of course, some more greenery. Vintage lanterns. And I put a wreath up on our fireplace for the first time this year. As I said before, I used to have my cross stitch up there. But uh, I really like the, the greenery. And uh, some vintage postcards. I found a few of them at an antique show this year. And those are mercury balls that I got with an order of um, mercury beads that I put on the Christmas tree. And I'll show you that later. So I just stuck those on there. So yeah, as I said, the fireplace, I love to decorate for the holidays. I also added a few trees this year. I have uh, one in our uh, porch outside. We have a small entrance porch. Um, so I have one that I always put outdoors, but I decided to decorate with some more, and they're all you know, artificial, but I love putting them in uh, vintage containers. So this one is in a, uh, in a jug that hubby found for me. And that's a vintage match matchbox container beside it. And the tree on this side of the fireplace and a small table 
in front of the other window. Those are little cardboard candy boxes. Oh, and the table runner that I have hanging on here, I just folded so that you can see the reindeer. I bought that a few years back from the florist um, that I usually go to to get um, flowers at the holidays or birthdays. And just after Christmas one year, they were putting away all their decor. And so I asked uh, if it was for sale and they checked with the owner and he said, sure. So I got it for a dirt cheap and I just love it. I actually have it out all year round. I think it's just so beautiful, embroidered with these beautiful deer heads. These are the candy boxes, and of course, more postcards. If you saw my video from last Christmas, you'll probably recognize a lot of the deer here. Um, again, I have a large collection of deer and I've added a few pieces to this this year. This box is from a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer dart game. And I have the game board on another um, table. I'll show a little bit later, but this is the box that it came in. And I think it's just fantastic. It's from the 40s. And there's recipe boxes, again in the plaid. And that's um, on the corner of the uh, silver tray is a vintage doorbell hanger. You'll see the box for that a little bit later as well. A few Rudolph items. I have another whole display just of Rudolph, so I put a few things in with my other deer here on this corner cabinet. I really love these these deer in this in this shelf. They're really cute, and I really like the uh, Christmas card list box. And. Again, more deer. And if you saw last year, you'll recognize this herd. that I've collected many of these over the years. Back when they weren't so expensive, now they're asking quite a bit for these. Luckily I got these a few years ago before they got too expensive. And again, that uh, Santa on the sleigh is a Japanese wind-up toy. It has a bell on the back. There's a box for it too. I got it at last year's antique show in the fall and uh, it winds up and works. And then down below a few more deer of course. So many years ago um, hubby put up this palette for me because I wanted something on our living room wall um, that was rustic and I could use as kind of a shelf and display for some rustic items. So I've had this shelf up for, for many years, but this year I added the garland on the top and a few Christmas items tucked in here and there. But it basically displays some of my uh, farmhouse items, uh, bells and that kind of thing. So I'll give you a closer look. The printer's tray holds smaller items like dice and timepieces and vintage items. And as I said, I just add a little bit of greenery and a few holiday postcards into this area as well. This uh, metal item with the uh, with the bird peeking out is an old heat register. More bells, they sound so nice. Sleigh bells. Love, love, love old bells. And I do have a bell collection I'll show you in a minute too. So that's how I decorated that up for the holidays. 
And underneath that, I have a console table uh, behind the couch. And to that, I added a few vintage items, like some vintage lights. Of course, the candlestick lights, outdoor Mazda lamps, that Santon reindeer is a Noma piece as well. He's uh, kind of worn out from use, but I still love it. And old bulbs and reflectors, more lights, and that's a box for um, a candy container that I had in the other shelf with all the reindeer. This is beside the couch. Tauntaun fast asleep, all curled up. My little forest of trees. I like to keep those up every, um, throughout the year. This just adds a nice sparkle to the room. But on my little ladder, this is a ladder that I, I got down in the States on a trip with my daughter and it was all covered in paint and a really sad shape and hubby sanded it down and I refinished it and I just love using it as a uh, side table. I just added a couple of boards to it to make shelves. And so on the top of that I have a little display of candles and uh, antique or vintage tree topper and uh, other silver items. Those great candles daughter gave me for Christmas this year. And speaking of bells, this is uh, a collection of vintage bells that I've acquired over the years. They're sleigh bells and cow bells and I think goat bells, all different kinds sitting on uh, um, a vintage scale. More bells. I particularly like silver, but there are a few nice old rusty ones and they all sound different. They all sound wonderful. And these little miniature kugel ornaments are so cute. Really love these. So I just added those to a display of uh, silver trays. So that's um, most of my bell collection. Okay, in this corner, this is behind the Christmas tree, um, just near the entrance uh, to the living room. Um, just a few weeks before Hubby passed, he gifted me this uh, secretary. Um, and it is beautiful. I love it. This cabinet on top has shelves inside, and so I decided to add um, my Titanic collection to it. Sorry for the glare. I'll show that again when I uh, do my antique tour. But the uh, bottom has drawers, and then this pull-down desk table. So. On the desk, I've added my uh, my copy of A Christmas Carol. This book um, from Dickens is dated 1913. I'll just show you the inscription. Love this. sitting on this old desk with my old phone. That phone is from 1908, I believe. And I recently got this uh, candlestick. I wanted to get a silver one for the longest time, and this one came even with a snuffer. And I used to have a brass one for many years. Daughter has been collecting brass items, so I gave her my brass one when I found the silver one. So I added a antique ornament, a little bit of greenery to that as well. 
So I thought that made a, a really nice display with my Union flag. And uh, my antique lamp. So as I said, that secretary sits behind the Christmas tree. Usually when it's not the holidays, I have my spinning wheel out here. Um, but this year, um, I found it too hard to decorate the way we always decorated with our ornaments that we had collected years and years since our marriage. So what I decided to do this year was concentrate on vintage and I collected all kinds of beautiful glass ornaments. These are all vintage ornaments except for the reindeer. So the only two items on the tree this year are vintage glass ornaments, glass mercury beads of course, um, and, and reindeer. So the reindeer are new, but because of my reindeer obsession, I just had to keep those on the tree. So a lot of these ornaments I got at either local antique shows, shops, or online on eBay mostly. I was able to find some really great deals a few months ago, before the holidays kind of got into full swing, I was able to find some sellers selling whole boxes of these beautiful glass ornaments um, for really good prices. And this one daughter gave me for Christmas. Of course, it's perfect. It has a little deer in there. And it was made in Japan in the 40s. I really love the um, the bells and pine cones. So you'll see a lot of those in my vintage ornaments as well. And yeah, they're all so beautiful. I really enjoyed collecting these this year. I have so I found so many. Yet it was nice to uh, to decorate with those. This year I also added a um, to, instead of a tree skirt, a uh, a box at the bottom of my tree. So I'll just swing around and show you a few more of the ornaments. Yeah, there's. Uh, some real beautiful items with the indents, the pine cones, different shapes. They're all incredible. And what I did was, um, when I was looking for mercury beads for the garland online, um, I really wasn't too concerned about the size of the beads. And so when they arrived, coming from different sellers, some of them were smaller and some of them were bigger beads. So what I did was I put the small ones at the top of the tree and then gradually increased to uh, with uh, larger beads near the bottom of the tree. So one more skin, a few more on the back side. slow so I hope I don't make you dizzy with my videoing but yeah I just uh, love all of these really beautiful and luckily the two cats are older they don't bother the tree although I still add a, um, a line a fishing line and a hook in the ceiling just to be extra careful mostly for me because if I knocked into the tree I'd be devastated if I uh, broke any of these but yeah the uh, the cats don't bother the tree at all and this is what used to be my living room and it's now my art studio craft studio 
Um, I thought since it's just me here now, I won't be doing any more family dinners. So um, I had my mom and dad's dining room table and chair set here for many years. And so I gave it to my daughter who just moved into a new old home. Her home was built in, I believe, 1914. It's incredible. So that fit in better with her place. And uh, she had me over for, for Christmas. So it's getting good use. So instead I found, well, actually my daughter found it on Facebook Marketplace. This incredible old rustic table that was perfect for my use. And as I said before, it came with uh, two benches. So I put one in my bedroom and one in the foyer. And this is basically where I spend most of my time. I have my computer here. I have a bunch of my drawers and that I used to have in my little studio, which used to be daughter's bedroom. So I brought it out here. And now I can watch TV. I can work on the computer. I can do my art with a nice big window, lots of um, bright sunshine, and, uh, and I eat here as well. And this cabinet on the left is also a Facebook marketplace find. Daughter found it. It was only a few blocks away from my home. It comes apart in five pieces, and I'm in the process of refinishing it. They had painted it, the whole thing, black. So there was six drawers on top and 18 on the bottom. So I refinished the six drawers on top so far and I still have to do the bottom sets of drawers. But that's a project for uh, after the holidays. So for Christmas, I decorated up this spot with a few items that I'll show you now. First one is uh, another vintage tree stand. And uh, that's a cast iron one. And again, just put some faux greenery in that. Up above that, I have temporarily just hung um, an antique post box. I'm going to be uh, putting this on permanently once I refinish the piece. But this post box is from 1906. And it is incredible. It's cast iron as well. And so I thought I'd put a couple of Christmas cards in there. I thought, uh, I thought that was really a cool piece. On the shelf here, I have another vintage bottle brush tree and an antique toy truck. And I just put a few candles up here because frankly, I ran out of space on where I was gonna put them. So I thought, oh, well, I'm not using the drawers right now, so. I'll just add them to this shelf. And on top, uh, I have a collection of old Christmas ornament boxes. As you can see, I have even more ornaments that I didn't even take out of the boxes. Some of them are more plain, so I left them in the boxes, but I, some of the boxes are empty because their ornaments are on the tree. There's also a box of Christmas snow. It still has the snow in it. Um, the door ringer box and uh, a few more little mini toys of pulling their little uh, boat brush trees. And this uh, die box holds my culprit markers. But again, I'll go through all my art supplies and things like that when I do my other home tour. So this is the view of my desk. And uh, on it, again at the antique show that we went to this past fall, one of the last items I picked up was this cute little deer planter. I just love it. Instead of putting a plant in it, it's got a couple of bottle brush trees. Those are newer ones. And yes, I love my Jelly Belly jelly beans. Close on the desk, which is very dangerous. But yeah, that's where I spend most of my time. So of course, over here, I have one of my favorite collections and that's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection. 
So I added a cabinet again that I took out of my studio. And then I just recently found that cubby at an antique shop just a few weeks ago. And I thought it would be perfect to store my Rudolph collection. In past years, I've put it in the foyer, um, but it has grown this year. And I also dedicated a tree for my Rudolph ornaments so I added those to this area. So it's so nice because I sit right here and I can see these all the time. So I have the Rudolph pop-up book. This is a hard book to find. This one is actually in French. I got it a lot cheaper than the English one, but what I love about it is it shows a Canadian city in it, Montreal. So the graphics and all of the, all the pop-outs are exactly the same. So I just love this book. And this beautiful book I found on Poshmark. And I just love the graphics. It's incredible. Last year I found the Rudolph plate and cup. And at Christmas, my daughter surprised me with the matching bowl. Now this is a children's set of dishes. And these are the three pieces that were included in the set from the 1940s and 50s. And they are just beautiful. And I was blown away when she gave me the bowl. I have been looking for the bowl for the longest time. Sometimes you can find these sets as a complete set, but they're very expensive. But uh, she found this for me at a great deal. And that's a Rudolph. It actually says Rudolph on the side of him too. And the teapot, the sugar and creamer of the set are on this shelf as well, along with some Viewmaster reels and a little jelly or cake tin. And of course, books and records. Pop. Trying to get the glare off from the book and a couple of records again. Love, love, love the old graphics. So I have a wreath that's new this year hung on the curtain and my Rudolph tree and all the ornaments on here are Rudolph the reindeer, except for the balls and the lights that came with the tree. But otherwise, the only ornaments on here are from my favorite holiday special. Growing up in the 60s and 70s, of course, this was a must to watch Rudolph every year. And that's a children's puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. There are a few different kinds by Jmar online. And I'll go around and show you the other side as well. So here's another view of the Rudolph tree. I wanted to show you because I have um, the game, magnetic dart game that I found this year online. This is a great, great item. I love these old Robert L. May items that uh, are from the original Rudolph story. So that's metallic. That uh, That's a, a metal tin game that you throw darts at. And his nose lights up. It's got some wiring on the back so that when you hit the target, his nose lights up. And a few other items from the TV special. In the hallway, I have a, a divider um, just between my kitchen and the dining room. I thought I would hang these vintage bottle brush wreaths. I got these online um, from a lady in Brooklyn, New York. 
got all five wreaths for $20. I just love them. Really brings back memories of uh, when my parents and relatives would decorate for the holidays. Definitely reminiscent of, you know, the 50s and 60s. So the last thing I wanted to share with you is my final tree. This one I have in my bedroom. I uh, have it on the bench that came with my new uh, table, my new old table. In the egg uh, basket is some Hudson Bay blankets. I have quite a few of those. Um, and this is what I call my memory tree. And this is the ornaments that Hubby and I collected over the years. One of our favorite movies to watch every Christmas was A Christmas Story. So we have a few items from that. And then the bunny coming through the gate and a couple of toys there. Um, those used to be on my desk at work every Christmas. So I thought it was nice to add it to under this tree. The little stockings my mum cross-stitched. One for me and one for hubby. And otherwise the ornaments on this tree are some of the ones that we would put on the trees every year. Um, for hubby and myself. So yeah, this I call my memory tree. And I have my Christmas tree, my Rudolph tree, and my memory tree, and my window lights, um, and the little forest trees all hooked up to Alexa and my phone so I can turn them on and off really easily. So that's my home for the holidays. I don't know if anybody else is interested in seeing it, but at least now I have a record of uh, what I did this year. It was um, a harder Christmas, of course, but I really enjoyed spending a lot of time with my daughter and her husband and um, starting a few new Christmas traditions. So thank you for joining me enjoyed seeing it and uh, as I said I will do another video of my antique collection um, once I take all the holiday decorations down which I think I'll keep up for a little while yet I like to have it up for some time I think it just looks magical so thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll come back soon. Bye-bye.